What's up guys, Pedro here from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a screen of the day by RDX HD. It is named Read My Mind. Now this is a very clean looking home screen for you guys. He's mostly known for his dashboard type S looking home screens and I must say this is looking gorgeous. I'm going to be using the Nexus 4 for this Android home screen tutorial. So we're going to be taking a quick little overview before we dive right into the tutorial so I can tell you guys how to get this beautiful looking home screen onto your device. The top here we have a music widget. We could actually play, pause, forward, and backward, and actually shows our cover art right here. And when I actually play a song, it actually shows the song title and the artist. In the middle here we have our notifications that shows for our emails, messages, our phone calls. We even have our date and our battery. And on the bottom here we have our weather widget, which actually shows, well, shows your current location, the weather, the wind force, precipitation, and your highs and lows for the day. So, as I always say, enough of me talking, let's get this beautiful dashboard looking as home screen onto your Android device right now. Okay, so first we're going to go right into our Nova Launcher settings. We're going to go right into desktop, desktop grid, and we're going to make sure it's a 12 by 8, 12 rows with 8 columns. How about out of that? Our width margin is going to be set to large. This is important because you know you need this for your home screen to work. And then our height margin, oops, our height margin is going to be set to none. Next up, your persistent search bar can be shut off completely. We're going to make sure that this is actually a one page home screen. So when home screen is configured, so it's only one screen. Scroll effect, wallpaper scrolling is all to your liking. Our uh, resize all widgets should be checked and under the advanced tab right here. We're going to make sure that widget overlapping is checked and also overlap when placing is also checked. After that, you're going to go into our dock and we're going to shut off our dock completely. And that should be it for your Nova slash Apex Launcher settings. Next up is going to be our wallpaper setup. Alright, now that we have our Nova or Apex Launcher settings all set up, we're ready for our wallpaper for this home screen. So we're going to simply hold down our home screen, go right into wallpapers, and go into gallery. Now if you guys make sure that you dropped all the files correctly into your phone, it should be under read my mind. We should select it right there. And it should automatically crop to your liking. If not, you can just mess around with the settings here. Or use apps such as Simple Image, Wallpaper Free, or Wallpaper Wizardry, or even Quick Pick to help you set up this wallpaper on your screen. When that is done, we we'll hit OK. And there you have it, that should be the wallpaper that is needed for this home screen. Next, we're going to be setting up our ultimate custom clock widget. So for our first ultimate custom clock widget, we're going to make sure that once again, we dragged and dropped all the files that are needed into your phone. And we're going to hold down our home screen, go right into widgets, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. And then from there, we're going to select a 4x1. You're going to hit on the top right use it and you're going to navigate to the folder in which you put the use ups under. I put it under read my mind. Whoops. There it is. And there should be two use ups UCCW music underscore read dot use it UCCW underscore weather underscore read dot use it. We're going to be selecting the UCCW music underscore read dot use it. Going to overwrite it. And there it is. We're going to hold down, we're going to bring it all the way over here and resize so it actually fits the entire screen just like this. Now we're going to be setting up an app called a Media Utilities. So we're going to go right into our apps, hold down the screen, go into apps. You're going to download the app and you're going to go right into the app itself. And on the top right here, we're going to go into settings. And we're going to make sure that we scroll down and check UCCW so it works for the ultimate custom clock widget. And for me, I actually uh, needed to check these, make cover art available, and attempt direct control. This all made it, you know, flow correctly for my own sake. So I'm going to remove that. Now once you have the top all set up, we're going to hold down our home screen, go right into widgets. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we see media utilities. And then we're going to be selecting the cover art one by one. We're then going to drag it right next to the artist. Well, right next to the song name, and we're going to resize it so it fits accordingly, just like that. 
Alright, so our next UCCW is going to be the notification read widgets, which is going to be placed right in the middle here. So we can actually go right into our utilities and favorites, and these are all counters. So we're going to hold down our home screen, go into widgets, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. Then we're going to make a, another 4x1. And then once again, on the top right, hit use it and navigate to the file. And then you're going to be selecting the UCCW notification read .usip. Going to select that, import it to your screen, and then just tap here. And it should be really small, and we're going to resize it so it actually just fits the corner of the screen just like that. Now you're going to be getting a little error saying that you need an email account, so we're going to simply tap the widget itself, make sure that uh, hotspots are turned off so you can actually do this. Go into background, go into Gmail 1, and under to controls, scroll down to controls number 5, and we're going to select our account, your Gmail account, and then you're going to select the label for that account. I'm going to put all mail, and then go back home, and it should be all fitted correctly. Alright, so for our last and final UCCW widget needed for this beautiful home screen is that we're going to be selecting our weather widget which should be located right down here in the bottom. So to get to that, we're going to be simply holding down our home screen, go into widgets, scroll all the way down to UCCW. We're going to be selecting another 4x1. And then on the top right, hit use it. And then once again, you know, navigate to the correct folder under read my mind. And then it's going to be UCCW uh, weather read user. You're going to be selecting that user. I'm going to override it since I already have it. And it should be really small right down here, but we're going to touch it and then resize it accordingly on the bottom. It should be just like that. And there you go. You guys can actually change this to your own certain location when you go into the app itself. And once you guys are finally done with the UCCWs, we're going to be selecting, uh, tapping any widget itself. Then the top right here, we're going to select lock widgets. And then we're going to make sure that we put it on. And there you guys have it. That is Read My Mind by RDX HD. A beautiful, minimal looking dashboard home screen for you guys. This is Pedro from MyColorScreen.com. Make sure to check out our Google Plus profile, our Instagram, and our Facebook. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button down below if you guys have not already. And make sure that I'll catch you guys later. See ya later. And make sure to don't stop customizing. <laughs>